sent through some place cards. It's funny, I could have sworn I put them in there. Where do you think you're going? Wait. No. I don't suppose you can. I'm explaining to do, won't we? Sit down. I'm not going to hurt you. So, you obviously think you got something over me. Oh, I know I have. You've been acting like a guilty man ever since you got that first note. If you had nothing to hide, you would have told your wife you were being blackmailed. Maybe I was trying to protect her. By writing a second note yourself? Please, that was just desperate. You're not as clever as you think you are. You're not as stupid as your brother, I'll give you that. He told me the whole sordid story. Couldn't help himself. I'm talking crap. Oh, so you haven't got a brother called Sean, huh? Also known as Sven. Currently on holiday in Thailand, getting drunk on cheap rice whiskey. That stuff that smells like nail polish remover. Spilling his guts to anyone who listened. Or was it just me, I wonder? Yeah, he likes to drink, my brother. Almost as much as he likes sexy blondes. He'd have told you anything to keep your attention. Thanks for the compliment. So what did he tell you? You killed your friend Morgan in a hit and run. Sean held you covered up, but that wasn't good enough. He took the blame himself and fled the country. Yeah, that is typical, Sean. He's always got to be the hero of every story he tells. Was it enough for him to get what he wanted? He regretted it as soon as he told me. Especially when he realized it all had been recorded on a security tape. Which is now in a safe place, but if anything happens to me, I've left a letter with a friend telling her where to find it. If I go missing, she'll go straight to the police. That's too big a gamble even for you. A barbecue? This time of year? I know. It sounds mad, but you know what my place is like. There's more room outside than in. It'll be less work for you, Mum, too. Besides, I have a brand new pergola to show off. Who else are you inviting? Just you two, and Tanya, and some folks from work, and some of Ben's Amber mates, probably. And what do we sell the pretty thing? Not what you're thinking, anyway. She turned me down. Oh, don't put it like that. We've talked about this. Yeah, and then she turned me down. Well, it can't have hurt too bad if you're already making jokes about it. No, I'm crying on the inside. Oh, stop it. You make me feel terrible. No, I'm fine. It took me a minute, but I got over myself eventually. As long as you're both happy. We yeah. are. That's what tomorrow's about. We don't have to be married to have a party. Besides, I think we've got enough to celebrate, don't you? Aww. <laughs> Is she here yet? Who? Our newest staff member. Helga, we're meant to be introducing her to the team this morning. Are we expecting a temp? Helga, healthcare logistic gateways. How could you forget Helga? The software program. The IT guy should have finished installing her last night. Yeah, you're right. There it is. 10 o'clock. Helga orientation session with the HODs. I'll let you do the talking. And good luck. Well, do you think I'll need it? Explaining algorithms to a bunch of mathematically challenged managers, most of whom can barely fill in a timesheet. They don't need to know how it works. They just need to know that it does. True. Whatever you do, keep it simple. Well, they should be up to speed anyway. The information packs went out weeks ago. Uh, it was more than a paragraph long. Do you really think anyone read it? Did you? Well, I did more than that. I asked for a special briefing from the DHB, and I'm still not convinced. I thought you'd love the idea. Software that tells us how many patients to expect at any one time. Think of the effect on the rosters, how we allocate operating theatres. I know the theory. It's genius, Rach. If it works. If the staff don't rebel at being told what to do by a computer. Coach, you need to hear this. A friend of a friend at Central. She isn't on the netball team, but she knows someone who is. Apparently, they have been practicing four times a week. Oh, well, that beats our little uh, get-togethers. Exactly. We haven't even made it to a proper court yet. Well, you know what to do. If it means that much to you, go ahead and organize it. Someone has to. And someone has to tell Gerald he can't play anymore. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to do that. Uh, come in. 
Only me. I just wanted to make sure that you have read your emails. Oh, yes. Um, hey, thank you for the invite. Sorry, darling, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Late notice, I know. I'm getting impulsive in my old age. <laughs> you have a great time, then. We will. So, Gerald, who's going to tell him? Tell him what? They uh, want to kick him off the netball team. We've been over this. I know. I told the... Leave other... Nicole alone. She did pass on your thoughts, but... It's not fair on the rest of us. We have the bones of a really good team. We could actually win. And that's worth hurting a mate's feelings for, is it? That's the spirit. Maybe if we gave him some extra coaching, he'd... Oh, he'd still be useless and you know it. And he's denying people who are way better the chance to play. I'm sorry, but he has to go. Oh, room service. Now, why didn't I think of that? Oh, we don't encourage it. I'm up and down these stairs enough every day as it is. Can't you just get one of the staff to take it up for you? Oh, sometimes it's just easier to do it myself. Kieran, are you sure you're going to be able to make it up there? You look exhausted. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night. Mm, me neither. I think I'm still getting used to the traffic noise. <laughs> and then there's the poltergeist in the next room. What was that? I don't know, maybe it's my hungry punter getting impatient. Onwards and upwards. Trying to get somebody's attention it didn't work. Nobody knows you're here, and nobody cares. <sighs> One squeak and this goes back on. I'm not scared of you. Then that's one good thing to come out of last night. I mean, I finally convinced you I'm not a murderer. You killed somebody. If I could go back and change it, I would. It was an accident. Morgan was my friend. And not bothering to call an ambulance? What was that? The biggest mistake I've ever made. I'm not a monster, Jane. But I don't think you are either. Can I eat? I'm starving. Yeah, in a minute. I'm still waiting for the rest of the story. What do you want to know? How did you and Sean meet? Holiday romance. We met at a club in Bangkok. What sort of club? Does it matter? I'm trying to build a visual. What street? I can't remember. <laughs> Can you remember what you were doing there? Working or partying? Working? But not as a barmaid, right? Yeah, I thought as much. My brother's got a thing for working girls, and you're exactly his type. So there's another thing we have in common. I used to transport girls from Thailand to Japan. I know that world. I know what it's like. So, that's Helga. Uh, please don't ask me to explain how she works her magic. Uh, let's just put it down to feminine intuition. Any questions? Uh, how come we're getting a foreign system? Well, you know she's not actually Swedish. Helga's just a silly well, name. Well, what's wrong with Sheila, or whatever it's called? I'm lost. Well, it's a perfectly good system created right here at NZ. I mean, it's been proven in hospitals all around the country. Why are we trialling this one? Sadly, I'm not privy to the innermost workings of the DHB's collective brain, Maxwell. Probably a good thing. <laughs> I'll hazard a guess. Helga was cheap. Uh, far from it. We hope she's worth the investment. As you know, the DHB has been asked to trim its budget substantially. The idea is this system will allow us to wring the most out of the existing facilities. So, make Helga your friend and uh, she'll make life easier. Bring it on. How long before we're all redundant? I'm sorry? I've already lost control of my budget. And now you've got a software system trying to run my rosters. How long before Helga has a quiet word and tells you I'm not needed anymore? I think you're overreacting, Scotty. I hope so. Just give it a go. That's all I'm asking. <laughs>